page. There isn't a lot for the About Me page. There isn't a lot to do once again, but there is a little bit that we need to do. So I'm going to uh, give you the the link to the Adobe XD file once again in the show notes, as well as in the slides in just one second, just to make it easier to get the text, but also to see what text is bold in here, because we do have quite a bit of text that you're going to want to make bold when you do this one. And uh, we also have these H3s that are different from all the other H3s. So uh, that need their own style, their own color, their own font size, and all of that set up on them. But otherwise, there isn't that much. Now, the very beginning of this is exactly like we did before. We can go to one of our pages, copy all the content, and paste it into a new page. So I want you to try and do that and delete everything that you do not need. We can keep some stuff, but we do need to delete some other things. So go ahead and give it a try, place the content in, see if it works the way you'd expect it all to work. And of course, as usual, I'm going to be jumping in and taking a look at it with you in just a minute. Okay, so let's go and make that new file. So new file, we can call it aboutme.html. Again, if you're going to have two words in it and you need namespacing, do not put a space with your keyboard. Make sure that it is hyphen separated. On my recent posts, we can copy all that, come over to my about me and paste it all. Footer is good. In my sidebar, the sidebar is a little bit different on this one. We do not need this first widget anymore since we're on the about me page. So we can delete that sidebar widget. And we don't need any of the articles, but I am going to keep the main there. So let's come through and just delete all of these articles. They're all vanished. They're all gone. And we can just come in here and start working directly in the main. I'm just going to fast forward when I do this part. There's not a lot to it. Um, it's just, you know, we just have to place content and put the right tags on everything. So I'll be back with you in a second with all of the content in place. So all of the content is in place. We're ready to go now and do the last finishing touches on this. So there's not a lot to do. If we come and look, I've also been really nice and I've set up all the links for you. So if you go and look between all the different pages, I have put those links in there. So if we come through and look now, all of the links are working. We can jump through between the different pages and everything is all awesome. There's only two things is I need to change the color of that. It looks like I made a little typo there somewhere too. We want to change the color of my H3s, maybe change the spacing on them a tad. And of course, uh, we want to make some modifications on this picture because if we look at the original design, it should be able to crop itself similar to how these images were cropping. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and do that. We've seen it with those other ones. If we come and look at my About Me page, I've given it the class of image full. The idea here is that I see this page sort of acting as a template page as well. So just like these are sort of template pages, if you were to click on continue reading, it could use this exact same layout for a blog instead of for an for the full blog post instead of for my, just my About Me page. If you're going to do that, um, I'd probably have the article tag, the whole thing wrapped in that. So article open all the way at the bottom, article close. But in this case, it's not really an article, so I'm not going to include it. Now, if you're wondering how you could do that where you're creating template pages, that's not in the scope of this course, but there are different ways. There's languages like PHP, which WordPress is built on, so you could actually make your own WordPress theme. Or I use a language called Jekyll for my personal site right now. I'm looking at changing that maybe to 11T, or there's many, many others. There's a few of them that I'm looking into um, for the next time I redo my own personal site, which are called static site generators, where it's mostly using HTML and CSS. So you're setting everything up with those, but then you can have the content. So if you write a new blog post, it's sort of automatically putting the content into um, the template file that you created. And we're well on our way of having something that could be taken to that next step once you're ready, but I wouldn't get there yet. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Let's first master how to make the responsive page. And then once you're super comfortable with that, you can start worrying about templating. Um, so for the image, I want you to go ahead and do that. Set up the image so it is cropping just like we did on the other ones. I would do it with a maximum height. So limit the maximum height our image can have. And also maybe add a little bit of margin on the bottom of it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how I would do it.